Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will share with you how to achieve a cute and aesthetic laptop. I'm aiming for functionality and an aesthetically pleasing vibe. Also, I have previous videos about laptop customization. If you want to check them out, I will leave the link to a playlist below in the description box. But before I proceed, I will be sharing first this free online PDF editor. This is a very helpful and student-friendly tool to easily edit, convert, annotate, perform OCR, and add or remove watermarks on your PDFs. Most of its features are free. You can use it on any device. It has fast conversions, online cloud documents, and it's very easy and convenient to use. They have various tools here, as you can see. One of their features allows you to edit PDFs. Just open a file from your device and it will automatically upload your file. You can change the font's appearance. You can darken, italicize, change the font color. And apply a highlighter. You can also add a custom color that you prefer. Another tool available is their annotation. You can easily annotate your PDF. You can add some shapes or arrows to highlight a part of your PDF on which this feature is very helpful once you will do your academic research, etc. You can also add some text, modify it, and annotate it. You can choose the line weight and color of your pen. If you want to delete some annotations, just click on them and the trash can icon. And after you're done, you can save it to your device. Another feature they have is their OCR tool. This will recognize the text on your PDF and convert it to a specific format. After the app analyzes it, you can save the document and you can now do your work. And lastly, they have a variety of conversions from PDF to a specific file type or from a particular file type to PDF. And those are some features of the Light PDF web. If you want to check this out, I have a link below. So this tool is very easy and helpful for all of the students out there. And yes, if you want to edit your PDF faster and very in a very convenient way, might as well try this one. Again, if you want to check this out, click on the link below. And thank you to Light PDF for sponsoring this portion of the video. Anyways, um, let's get into the video. For the first step is to open your to-do list app. I do recommend using Microsoft To-Do and I will be using this app for your reference. Next is to click on the keep on top icon and take a screenshot of your screen. Next is to open Canva and start with a blank canvas. I will be using the 1920 by 1080 pixels. Once the workspace is available, paste the photo you screenshotted a while ago. Adjust the size until it covers the whole canvas. Next is to open colorhunt.co and look for a palette you prefer. By the way, I will be using the pastel colors for the wallpaper we'll be doing. And uh, download the color palette image and insert it into Canva. You can place it on another page to avoid interfering with your work. Next, click on the lines and shapes and choose the shape that you want. You can go for a curve or a pointy edge shape, but in here I chose this uneven style shape. Place it on top of the to-do list as seen in the screenshot. Make some adjustments and add the color that you want. Here I set the shape into a lighter shade and the outline to a darker shade of color. Duplicate the shape depending on the number of organizers you want to include. And now I will show you where you can easily create your class schedule. 
so opengizmowa.com i will just leave the link of this one below then choose college schedule maker add a title and by clicking on the settings icon you can select the clock type that you want the first day of the week that will appear and the time increment there are also additional options below so if you don't have classes on the weekends click on always draw weekend option here i just opened our website where i can easily copy and paste my subject click on add item to add a subject type the subject course name or you can easily copy it and paste it here and choose the color you want select the days and time when you will meet on that subject you can also include the course type is it a laboratory or a lecture course type your instructor's name and the location of your class you can also add another meeting time and click on the add course button if you're done Do this to all of your subjects and once you're done, you can save the image. Next is to upload the photo to Canva and adjust its size. I will also add the shape and use a white color for the shape fill. Next, I added additional shapes and make sure to have a screenshot of your screen that includes the taskbar so that you will avoid having the bottom part of a shape interfere with the taskbar. Add a text and include the title that you want to name each organizer. I just added ACADs, YouTube, and miscellaneous. I then added some frames, just type frames on the elements tab. I will be adding some of my photos to have a personalized touch. You can either add your photos or borrow one from the internet or add an additional organizer depending on your preference. And now I'm just looking for some backgrounds. And I'm planning to use a gingham design and a good thing I saw this pastel yellow gingham photo. I just duplicated it three times to cover the entire background. And also don't forget to group them and lock them in their place so that while you're designing the wallpaper, they will not move. In here, I am now adding some elements. You can edit their colors to your liking. I am also changing each organizer's color to match the theme. You can also include a code or a reminder on this part. I just placed a you can do it code in this additional text or element. And just add more designs. Once you're happy with your work, you can export and save it to your device. Next, go to settings and on the personalization tab, on the background, click on browse photos. Then click on the wallpaper you saved a while ago. You can now organize your software and apps in their designated organizer. And what I recommend you to do is to right click, hover your mouse to the view option and click on align icons to grid. So that while you're organizing them, they will be in a straight manner. Then uncheck again the align icons to grid option. Highlight all the apps in the organizer and place them to your desired part of the organizer.
next is that you can also change the color of the buttons on your computer you can either choose from the default colors or add a custom one i just chose this pastel purple slash lavender color and lastly open the to-do list app and click on this icon so it will be placed in our to-do list organizer area you also have a choice to change its color theme and yeah, you can easily place your to-do list. And yes, that ends the tutorial on this cute and functional wallpaper organizer. If you want a copy of this wallpaper, click on the G Drive link below and save it to your device. Or you can edit the content of this organizer. I will also place the Canva template link of it below. But there are other elements that I used in this wallpaper that are in Canva Pro. So if you have a free version, there's a tendency that you will not be allowed to save it. But you, yes, you can still make your own on the free Canva version. And yes, that is all for today's video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. So if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe and click on the notification bell button. And also click on the like button below. And yes, that is all. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. And see you on my next video. Bye, guys.